welcome to the final session of goal setting and hopefully you have learned something new i thought in the last session instead of just talking about goals and everything we'll revise a lot of our goal setting we'll also have fun and in the same process we will talk about what we learned in the previous time you know i know you all are very shy shy children but you should keep your videos on so i can see you at least for one time last time then i can i will send your certificates today we'll be sharing the certificates with you and today you will see a certificate so are you all ready everybody can you give me a thumbs up for playing the final quiz today yes sir okay great z good yes, to sir. hear you all right that's nice mohammed everybody else yes, sir fantastic what i'll do is you can choose to either use the a uh, chat for answering but whoever answers i'll discuss this each question with them the the game is very simple so i'm going to share this with you this is a very innovative game called who are you smarter than a fifth grader okay so are you smart how smart you are at the end of the session is what we're going to determine all of you you all can you know look forward to this you all can plan around now what we're going to do is instead of making it like a game or anything like that you have the right to choose okay everybody i will go keep going from 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 different uh, students out there different participants so anyone who wants to go in first can choose there are nine questions on your screen rather there are 10 questions on your screen you can choose any question now the moment you choose it takes you the question you start answering and when you answer you climb this ladder so i would like to see you climb up the 10000 ladder out there all right everybody okay hold on <laughs> everybody are you all ready for learning about goal setting through this amazing quiz and you can choose let me go who would like to go first go ahead give me a thumbs up and then i will know that who wants to go in next what do you want to choose space space okay okay so what you tell me is tell me your name and and then i'll ask you a question mohammed sheikh okay mohammed sheikh from mumbai is that right mohammed yes all right mohammed so we are going to first question that is space and then we'll talk about what of the fishes goal setting we are but here is your question on your screen well it's a easy question apollo belongs to united states sputnik belongs to russia so what do you think time when one belongs to which country does it belong to go ahead mohammed sheik anyone else can use the chat but everyone will get an opportunity today i want everyone to pick up so i'm going to keep asking your name as you go ahead what do you think mohammed any idea is the chats i can enable the chat also so now you all can chat with me china are you sure it's china um cuz the name sounds uh, a little bit chinese absolutely right the name sounds chinese the name is chinese oh i'm sorry nabia it's not japan but yes it is china great all right so the answer is right now let's talk about the space research all right it is an intellect goal right in fishes f i s h e s this is a goal which gives you intellect in the height of the cold war there were two countries united states and russia they wanted to be the best they wanted to be the leading countries of the world and today china is one of them the fourth country the only country to have attempted a space mission to mars which is the fourth country who can tell me that come on guys this is your round this is a quiz one i want quiz has to be most active yes india india, india. absolutely right and what is india's mission to mars called chandrayaan mission mangal all right it's mission mangal or mangalyaan chandrayaan chandra means moon so it is not chandrayaan it is mission mangal all right good now china of course is not something that is very popular in today's time with all the covid cases and all the corona happening around but china is one of the world leading today leading the world in space Third. technology Okay, it's number three. All right, the last question on this particular one. Every question will have more questions coming up. There is an individual organization. So there are three individual organizations that are doing space research, and they're as good, if not better, than NASA. SpaceX. SpaceX. Who owns SpaceX? Who's telling this? Wonderful. Brilliant. Elon Musk. Elon All Musk. All right. Okay. The owner of Tesla. Wow. So I got SpaceX. That's very good. Okay. So I got Musk with Tesla. Who else? There are three. Two more companies. Go ahead. Tell me. Now this is this is not difficult one. Come on, tell me the second one. 
very famous company the ones that are sales are going on right now so isro ISRO is an Indian space research organization. ISRO is one which has launched uh, the Mangalyaan mission to Mangal. But these are three private companies. So which was the second one? It's an it's the owner of Amazon. Who is he? Okay. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. All right, Jeff Bezos. Perfect. Oh, hold on, Sauda. I'll just explain. There are three individual private companies that are going ahead. Halid Boeing is closed, but not Boeing. It's SpaceX from Elon Musk, from Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos, and there is Virgin Galactic from London, UK. Virgin Galactic, and this is this is the owner of Virgin Airline. Uh, his name is Richard Branson. So. All those who love space, remember we had a goal uh, in terms of someone want to become a space researcher. Three goals, you're doing good. All right, let me go here. So this is empty, right? This is empty. You've done great. So I give you thousand points here. Fantastic. Someone else wants to go for the second choice. Go ahead, make a choice. Sir, me. Yeah, tell me your name. So I don't know your face is right. Z. 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 Yeah, Z. Choose. Food and trend. Okay, interesting. That's a very nice quiz, by the way. Food and trend. All right, let's skip. Okay, there are three words I have given you, Z. Dalgona, Sufi, and Brazil. What's the answer? Very popular in today's pandemic world. Everyone is doing something around with these three words. Dalgona, Sufi, and Brazil. What's the answer? Remember, food and it's trending food. Dalgona coffee. Okay, interesting. What is it about Sufi then? How do you connect the words? Dalgona coffee is good. It's right answer, by the way. The answer is right. Absolutely correct. It's the coffee. Very well done. Tell me, how does coffee and Sufi and coffee in Brazil work? Anyone? No one here. Come on, come on, guys. This is so. This is Sufi. All right. This is a goal in fishes. It is health goal, right? In F I S H. So this is an H goal, correct? In fishes, so? it's an yes. Maybe the Dalgona coffee was invented in Brazil by someone called Sufi. Wow! I love your answer. I love the smartness, Mashallah. If not, answer may not be right, but you are great on intellect part. I I like the answer anyway. The real answer is well, the coffee is answer. Dalgona is a popular coffee. You see, the Sufis, the Sufis were the first people to invent the coffee because they wanted to stay awake to do ibadah in the night. That is how the Sufi and the word coffee came in, and Brazil is the largest producer of coffee beans in the world. So good answer, all of you doing fantastic. All right, but what's the words? What does the word Sufi mean, by the way? Just, just, just curious. Let me see how many of you know the answer. What does the word Sufi mean? Uh, a mallim. Okay, a mallim. That's a good answer, Juaria. I like the answer. All right, it's a group of people. Okay, and you see the research in chat box. Hold on. Right, I can see that. Okay, I will do it. Asma, uh, sorry, Savda, I'll do it. Sufi, the word Sufi means someone who wears woolen clothes. All right. So just to to you know give you your GK, someone who wears woolen clothes is the word origin came from. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, Brazil. Last question on Brazil. What's the capital of Brazil? Very quickly. Come on, guys. Rio. Rio. Interesting. Anyone else? Yes. Moscow. Moscow. Mm -hmm. You went very far away. What's the capital of Brazil? Come on. Brasilia. Brasilia. Brilliant answer again. Good answer. Brasilia. All right. Okay. Since you answered, so you choose Juaria. Okay. Go ahead and choose. Animal science. Animal science. Okay. Let's see animal science. Your third question. But by the way, you gave good answer. So I'm giving you two thousand points, all of you. All right. This is an easy one. If feline means cat, what does equine mean? Um, horse. Are you sure, horses? Anyone else wants to answer? Great answer, fantastic. Equine means horses. Remember, which goal did we speak about horses? Go ahead. In the goal setting, which goal did we speak about horses? Anybody? Last week itself, we spoke. Last. Thursday running. we spoke. Help. Yes, running. Okay, some hero. We spoke about some Sahabi and his entire thing on horses. Ooh.
Help. Yes, we spoke about Khalid bin Walid. Right, good. Okay, now one question. If you get this, I'll give you double the points for what answers you give. It's a difficult one. If if equine meet horses, right? What does what does what is the word scientific word for cow and dog? So feline is for cats. Bostoyes. Bostoyes. All right. I want a word which is similar to equine and feline. Feline is for cats. Bovine. Okay, I'll just give you an answer. All right. What is for what is for dogs? Come on. It starts with C. Feline. Saline, okay. Think again. C A N. Come on, give me. Come on. It's something to do with your teeth also. These are similar words used for teeth. Canine. All right, canine. Very good. And what about the dogs? Come on. Canis lupus. No, that's not the answer I'm looking for. It starts with B. Bostor. Ostoric is close, but no, that's too scientific for me. I want to know a name which is similar to canine and feline and bovine. I gave you the answer, by the way. Bovine. Bovine. All right, good. So you did good. So I'll only give you one. So you get 5,000 points. You're doing good. I hope as a team, you reach out to your 10,000 goal. Okay, who wants to go next? <clears throat> the ones who have not chosen. The younger one, Sauda. Sauda, choose now. <clears throat> Come on, choose. Which one do you want to go? So remember, as we're doing, we're doing the fish's goal also. Okay, Arman, go ahead, Arman. Great etiquette, travel. Okay, travel as in career. All right, I'm going, I'm, I'm thinking this is the travel you've chosen, not the place tourism. Good. Okay, another very simple one. Okay, Halid, after that, you will go next. Uh, Arman, because you chose Mexico, Egypt, Sudan, Assam. Now, Assam is the odd one out in India, but Mexico, Egypt, Sudan, Assam. Give me one word that connects all of these together. Remember, these are all your goals. Yes, please tell me. Okay, Arman, you say pyramid. Wow, I love the way you think. Why do you say pyramid? Because uh, Mexico has, uh, if I'm not wrong, it has this kind of pyramid-like thingy, and okay. Egypt does too. So I'm assuming Sudan might have it. Okay, pyramid-like thingy in Mexico. Brilliant answer, Arman. A fantastic answer. Do you know Sudan has 400 pyramids? We only know the Egypt pyramid. They are the most famous one. They are also the wonders of the world. But these are in Assam in India. Pyramid of Giza. Pyramid of Giza is the one people know. There is Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza is the pyramid in Mexico, right? Very popular. Also in India, there's pyramids in Assam, which are essentially graves of the tribal people. And Sudan has pyramids that people do not know. Arman, amazed at your answer. Brilliant guess. Very good done. All right. So you all are doing, but because it's doing very good, here is your 10,000. Yeah, Sauda, hold on. Let me go to Halid first. Halid, can you go in next? Sauda, after Halid. Okay. Yeah, Halid, choose. Doing very good. Okay. Place and tourism. So similar to the fish's goal, all of your travelers, I can see that. Here is your question. Again, give me one word that connects all of it. Statue of Liberty, fries, Normandy, and Napoleon. Statue French fries. All right. French fries. So what's the answer, Alid? What's one word answer? Whoever said, go ahead. Tell me your name and answer in case if I... Don't get it. I like the answer. It's a correct answer, but how are they connected? The fries gave it away, isn't it? France is the answer. All right. How is France connected to Statue of Liberty? No, so fries weren't. Um, French fries weren't uh, um, invented in France. Okay. French fries were not invented in France, but the word has stuck. Very good. What about Statue of Liberty? Because Statue of Liberty was gifted. Brilliant. Statue of Liberty was gifted to United States by France. And, and what about Normandy and Napoleon? They were both French. War. <laughs> okay, no, they were not French. Normandy. Something a, related yeah, to war. Yeah. Arman, everyone's allowed to answer. Go ahead. Once I open it, then you can answer. It's related to World War II. Absolutely correct. Go ahead. Okay, Arman, you're right. Napoleon was a ruler. Yes, a French ruler. Good answer. How about Normandy? Who can tell about Normandy? 
So the answer is correct. It's France. What's what's so okay? Napoleon lost the Battle of Waterloo. I like your answers. I like the answers. Okay, in World War Two, there is a most important day called the D Day. Yes, Arman, you are right. The D Day happened at Normandy, and that's the answer I was looking for. So you all are doing good. You all have reached twenty-five thousand points in the Fishes chart. You all are fantastically reaching your goal. Remember, your goal is this entire one. You all are doing brilliant. Okay, anyone wants to choose? Yes, Sauda, go ahead. I want to try. Yes, please try. Go ahead, choose. Health and food. Health and food, and this is your health and food question right up there. And it's for you, Sauda, because you're the youngest, and it's an easy answer. One word that connects Doctor Adam and Beauty. Okay, I got somebody. Sir, sir, apple. Apple. All right. How is apple connected to a doctor? Um, an apple is a doctor. Doctor, an apple is a doctor. Adam and beauty. beauty. Oh, apple gives us beauty, maybe. <laughs> okay, okay. There is an English quote which says, "You are apple of my eye," which means you are very beautiful, very dear to me. Okay, give me one more connection of apple with uh, two more people. Go ahead. Give me an example of two more people and apple. Yes, Wakar, I got the answer. You've been quiet today. Sir, sir, Snow White. So, oh, lovely Snow White who ate the poison apple. Brilliant answer. That's fantastic. Go ahead. Give me some more. One, there is a very. I think you all should immediately shout at the company's name. The most popular company. Apple. All right. Apple. Yes, Zed, I got the answer from you. Apple, the iPhone company, is it? Snow White. Okay, I got Snow White. Okay, so that's Steve Jobs. And which which scientist discovered gravity after Apple fell on him? Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. Great, you all are doing good with Apple. So here is your fifty thousand points. You all are doing very good. But I've got all correct so far. There are four more questions and four more poil fillers to fill in. Vakar, why don't you go ahead, Vakar? Sir, hold on. Yes, I want Vakar to choose now. Next. Come on, Vakar, go ahead. Quick, choose. You all have not missed anything, sir. So the team, I'm very proud of you. Vakar, please go ahead. Anyone else want to choose? Mahi, yeah, Mahi, okay. Vakar, sir, Vakar okay. said sports. Sports, in yeah. Thank you, thank you so much for helping me out. Okay, so here we go for sports. Now this is an easy one, Vakar. You can be the first one to attempt it. Others can attempt after that. Sumo wrestling. <laughs> I like the answer, but no. Tell me some something more popular. Um, WWE. I like boxing. Answer. You all are right with all the three, but yes. I was looking for boxing as the answer. Remember, we are doing fitness goals again in fishes. In so you are looking at a fitness goal, a health goal. Now, very quickly, who said that he stings like a bee and and floats like a butterfly? In boxing, about Muhammad who? Ali. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. What was Muhammad Ali's name before he became a Muslim? Come on, everybody. Three questions on Muhammad Ali. Quickly, good. Come on, no one. I was surprised. I thought you will give me the answer. I have great expectations from you guys now. Okay, I'll give you this one, but you gave a good answer. His name was Cassius Clay. All right, so you are learning about. So this is a spiritual glow. Also, remember in fishes, this is spiritual goal. Cassius so, Clay. Yes, go ahead. His name was. His middle name was Marshless something. Okay, so his Marshless. Name, Marshless. Cassius or... Marshless Clay. Okay, all right, Bashes. I think you are you are confusing with the Maximus in in Gladiator movie. His name was Cassius Clay, not much Cassius Clay, but then he became a Muslim, and that is a spiritual goal, isn't it? He found out that you know he has to believe in just one true religion, one true God, and that's it. But one very interesting thing about Muhammad Ali is he said that when Muhammad Ali was When he won the gold medal in 1960 Rome Olympics, he loved his model so much he used to sleep with the with the gold medal. But one day he went to a restaurant, and in the restaurant the owner came and said, "Sorry, dogs and black people are not allowed." Muhammad Ali said, "What? You are comparing a black man with an animal, a dog?" He went and he threw his gold medal in the river, the Ohio River in United States. He said, "A country which cannot respect me, I don't want their medal." 
This is Muhammad Ali. And after almost 50 years, he was again given his medal back by President then George W. Bush because this man stood up for the black right activism. So this is a story of Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay. Brilliant. You all give me good answers. I give you 100,000 points, three questions left to go to your gold medal. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Okay, hold on. Can I say? You only chose. No, all right. Can I say? Yes. Yeah, Z, go ahead. Z, you, Sauda, you already chose last time, so I'll allow Z this time. Go ahead, Z. Sir, the army and defense. Army and defense, all right. I'll come back to most of you now. It's a little, little tricky one, but you can get it. Now, this is about career, about intellect again, about patriotism uh, so, okay. in the yeah. army. What rank major. immediately above captain? Are you mm -hmm. sure, major? Colonel. Colonel, give me one answer. Okay, Nabiya, I give you one Major is the answer I'm looking for, and that's the right answer. Brilliant. Very nicely done. I didn't realize that you all know the hierarchy so well. You're doing fantastic. So the major is a good answer. Uh, just two points away. Nabiha, go ahead. Ali? Yeah, Nabiha, go next. I can say Ali. Ali? First food in Sri Lanka. First food. Sir, can I say? Sir, language. Language. All right. No, hold on, Sauda. You you have got your chance. I'll give others a chance. I've got language. Okay. Sir, language. Okay. What refers? What is actually the question? It should be what is common to a young horse and a type of pistol? One word. It's difficult. You know, as you're going ahead, you chose language now. So it's an English language goal. A young horse is called what? The same word for you use for pistol. Go ahead. Try. Revolve. Revolve wall, no. Anyone wants to attempt? Hold. S spell it for me. C O L T. Wow, that's the answer. Who's that? Who who gave the answer? I'm sorry, tell me your name again. Wajahat. Wajahat. Brilliant answer. Safiya, thank you so much for both of you gave the answer correctly. It's the word is cold. You know, you're learning a language also as you're going ahead. This is the word. All right. So three questions on horses because we did a lot of horses last time. Tell me when a horse runs at full speed, what is it called? What is it called? Gallop. Okay. Horse power. No, not horse power. It's called galloping. All right. Horse power is a unit. Gallop. Yeah. When a horse only walks, what is it called? Trot. Trot, okay. In between trot and gallop, what is do we have? In between trot and gallop. Canter. Canter is the answer I'm looking for, but you all are doing brilliant. So this is the first of the quiz, and you all are brilliant in your first quiz. Don't worry, I've got a similar one. Last question for you to reach your goal. Let me see if you can do social intellect. There's no other choice. I'll go to social intellect. Can I, yes, uh, okay. Yes, sir. Hey, go ahead, um, make an attempt. A great river. That also is name of a tribe of women warrior. Come on, you should get this one. It's a great river, which also is the name of a group of women warrior. Yes, Nile. yeah, tell me. Hold on, so yeah, yeah, hold Nile. Nile. Nile, no, river not, Nile. Not, not Nile, not Nile, Sauda, not Nile, others. What else could it be? Come on, everybody. And uh, Amazon. Amazon. Yes, I was looking for Amazon. Amazon, Amazon River. Yes, Amazon. Amazon has some amazing animals. Amazon is the largest yeah. river in terms of water. Nile is the longest river. Amazon is the largest river. Remember the difference? All right, last question on Amazon before I give you another quiz. I hope you're enjoying your quiz. You're doing brilliant. So there you are. You all have done some brilliant work. So congratulations. You have reached your goal with all these pointers. Yay! Can you all tell? See, this is how you reach goals. You start small and then you go higher and higher and higher. Enjoy the quiz, everybody. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So I will play one last, one more quiz with you. And then we have one lesson that you all have learned from today's session. And then we'll go and close this particular one. All right? So I... I have they someone can just mute yourself. I can see some background noise. I can Zed, I think can you just mute yourself, please? Thank you. All right, you all are doing very good. I just wanted to take you step by step to a goal setting program. So here you are. Let me see if I can play this again for you.
Alright. So are you smarter than a fifth grader? Okay. All right. So now, yes. Now, no. Hold on. Hold on. No. Now I'm going to make you in a small teams. Okay. We're playing a game on a different level. So everybody, right? Hold on. There are twenty participants out there. So all those, your name starts with A, B, C. Anyone before M? What letter comes before M? N N A B C D E F G H I J K L L L L. So everybody whose name comes from A to L. is in team 1 all right so i'll call you team amazon team amazon anybody with that so ibrahim will come in ammar ali amna right fawaz all of you are team amazon rest of you wajahat safia umar okay each one of you mohammed mahi nabiha all of you are team nile all right okay so this is how we do right everybody afreen and ishil you are in team amazon if you what is what does your name start with yes Yes, so it's it's S, right? So S is in Team Nile. All right, Sauda. Okay. Yes, Bye. Yes. All right. I'll have to mute the little girl. Yes, yes. She, she's very participative. I'm happy with that part, though. All right. Hold on. Yes, Team Amazon. Why don't you choose now? So you will get your points, Team Amazon. Anybody from Team Amazon can choose. Go ahead. Sir, you animal. Know? Animal. Okay. Sir, animal. All right. I'll go to Team Amazon. But at the end of the day, remember, you both have to reach the ladder together. Animal, which spotted big cat is native to both North and South America? So a little difficult question. Sir, there. Go ahead. The, um, team Amazon. The leopard. Uh, Sauda, you will be in Team Nile. Leopard. Are you sure? Second chance, Team Amazon. Puma. Halit says. All right. I go to Team Nile. Team Nile, you want to choose? Give an answer. Go. Team Nile. Come on, try that. Jaguar. Okay, Halid. I I got the answer. Wakar, sorry, it's not Tiger. Halid is from Team Amazon, so you got the answer, right, Halid? So good, Team Amazon. By the brink of it, you got your points. Correct point. All right, Team Nile. Go ahead, choose. Mythology. Mythology. Family. Okay, okay. I'm going to family now because I got a. Uh, I'll I'll choose family, right? How many years does a silver wedding anniversary celebrate? So it's family. Imagine, wow, twenty-five. Are you sure? Are you sure? Now, now you're confusing 25. yourself. Twenty-five. I'll accept twenty-five as an answer. I would not wait. Otherwise, you would have missed your point. Arman, you are in Team Amazon. Your name starts with A. Both your name and your surname would be A. So Arman, your Team Amazon. Twenty-five is the right answer. Team Nile, you're doing very no, good. So remember, your name starts with A, B, C, D till L. You are in Amazon. After from, L, sorry, where, where are you from? I was from Team Nile. Mohammed. Are you? Oh, Mohammed. I'm sorry, Mohammed. Okay, Mohammed. So you, Team Nile, gets the point. At the end, the goal is the same goal. You have to go to a uh, hundred thousand points together. Each one of you will, but work as a team. Okay, Team Amazon. Your question again. Choose Team Amazon. My okay. travel. Geography. Sports. Okay, sports. I I heard sports, geography. I heard geography first, so I'll go to geography now. Okay, simple question, a straightforward. What's the fourth planet of a solar system? Are you sure it's Mars? Mars. Mars. Yes, Mars. Right. Mars. Mars. Fantastic. So I'm, 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 I'm doing this quicker than before. Team Nile, go ahead, choose. Mythology. 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 This time I will go to mythology. I think it must be Vakar. So I'm choosing. Okay, all those Percy Jackson fans, here is a question for you. Remember, we spoke about mythology in Joseph Campbell in the last episode as well. Poseidon is the ancient Greek god of what domain? Water. Fire. What team is this? Thunder. Fire. All right. I, I, Arman says water, but it's a nine question. Sky. What team is this? Fire. All right. Fire. Are you sure? Team Amazon, please go ahead. Water. Say water. Water. Okay, C is the answer I'm looking for. Brilliant water, water. answer. C is the answer. That's how you look at it, not water. C is the answer, but good. I'll still give you. You're going good. Team Amazon, choose now quickly. We are doing good. Sports. Sports. Okay, good. Sports. Sports. If you're if you're riding in a velodrome, where what would you be riding on? Going round and round. A cycle. A cycle. Are you sure? Uh, yes. Yes, a Great answer. Cycle is the answer. Looking for again a health goal and sports. Doing very good. The teams, you all are fantastic. Okay, team Travel. nine, choose. 
travel, oh, I think Team Nile is like ready there. To which country are the Sherpa native of? Sherpa. Very popular word you hear, especially in North India. Sherpa. Singapore. Hmm. Not Tibet. Tibet. Close to Tibet. Go ahead. Give me the answer. This Himalaya. This okay. This country has Himalayas. Nepal. 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 Kashmir. Nepal. Okay, you all of you are learning Nepal. from each other. Nepal is the answer. Very good. What's the capital of Nepal? Brilliant answer again. Kathmandu. Kathmandu is the right answer. You all are learning. Good answer. I'll give you fifty thousand points. Good team. Amazon, choose. Career. Okay, there are okay. There are there are C's four C's here. Okay, career. I heard career first. I'm going to career. Okay, career question. Besides being birds, the difficult one. Give me an answer. What are these? Pelican, penguin, and puffin. Besides albatross? being albatross, albatross. What are these, by the way? They are they are birds. I know that, but what else are they? Halid, go ahead. Give an answer. Come on, Wajahat. Come on, Safiya. Difficult one. Arman. So they are birds that can't fly. They can fly, of course. Penguins cannot fly, but pelicans can fly. Puffins can fly. So they're very large. Remember the remember the question is on career. Something to do with books is a hint I can give you. Come on, the only one you cannot answer. Oh, Arman, I got an answer. I hope Arman, you're in Google. I trust you Penguin. on that. Okay, Arman, can you speak the answer? No, I trust you on that. Brilliant. Penguin books. All of them are publishers. Yes, Penguin books, Puffin books. Brilliant answer. You guys are amazing, me, mashallah, Arman. I'm proud of you. So I'm proud of the others who answered this. These are name of the publishing company. And again, it's a career goal. Remember, we wrote about goals and grade. You're so doing good. So okay, car. Okay, Z. I'm going for Z's answer now. Car. Okay. Which company? This is a tricky question. Remember, which company makes the most tires in the world? The largest tires or the most numbers of tires should be the question. Remember, it's a tricky question. The largest types. Yeah, it should be. It should be most number of tires. Okay. This. Data. This is a tricky question. This Bridgestone. is Bridgestone. Bridgestone, Seat, Apollo, Tata is not the right answer. Now, this I'll Apollo. give you a hint. Now, I'll give you a hint. This actually is not like a, a French company. Yeah. Yeah, I like the answer. Now, But the hint is. Yeah. Hint, good, not good here. Also, the hint is it's not a real car company. Actually, it's a toy company. Hot Wheel. Wow, who said Hot Wheel? Brilliant answer. Brilliant. Who said that? Safia. Safia. Okay, Safia. It's a brilliant answer. Hot Wheels makes the most number of tires. You know, they're not real tires. It's a tricky question, but you all are doing good. I think I love the answers that we are giving. Two questions and you will give your second. Okay, let's go to code now. Calendar. Okay. All right. There's the last one. Only two more. If in in the in the code, you know, they call the Morse code or the Samuel code. A is for Alpha. B is for Beta. C is for what is C is for? Charlie. Z stands for what? What does Z stands for? Come on, this is zebra? The, the last one's not zebra. It's not zebra. It's not zip. The xylophone. Xylophone. I wish it was xylophone, but xylophone starts with X. Come on, come on. I caught you finally. Come on, only two more questions left to do your goal setting complete. Come on. Zebra cross. It's not zebra. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It is. It is a name of a tribe from Fun. south. Fun. South. Fun. Wow, Zulu. Zulu! Brilliant, brilliant. It's not zero, Waka, but Zulu. I love the way you all answers. Even if you know you all didn't know, but at least someone knows, and you are learning from each other. These are intellectual goals for me. I've done a lot of intellectual in these rounds. The last question for you to reach your goal now. Oh, where did I go? So, okay. Yes. So I knew E echo. Oh, echo! You know echo. All right, interesting. I think you know each one of you will pick up something new from this. The last question for this entire goal setting session and today's session also on calendar is this: Which month is named after a king? Okay, which king? October? No, it's not October. Come on, come on. So August, November, August, August, August. Okay. August. August. I, I like August. your answer. August is named after Augustus. July, July is named after Julius Caesar. 
both answers acceptable brilliant and i think you reach your goal so because you did great i'll give you a bonus question all right this is a family goal here is a bonus question of 1000 points difficult one but here is it h and g j and j a n e identify these siblings brother sisters sister sisters identify this is the last family goal we've got a lot of brother sisters here you got wakar and wajahat you got arman i think are you with your sister arman safia and juaria here lot of you are with your sisters and brothers i don't know adib is not here come on give me the full song h n g j n j a n e come on everybody it's very easy it's from your modern stories these are brothers and sisters or sisters h n g is hansel and gretel Great answer, H and G is Hansel and Gretel. J and Jack Jill. and Jill. I like the answer, Johnson and yeah. Johnson, but it's Jack and Jill. Jack. Yes, it is Jack and Jill. I like your answers, by the way. They are really amusing and they're really, really very funny. And A and E, A and E is a modern movie. You all have seen this movie. Come on, everybody. Sir, can you give a hint? No, it's very easy. Okay, okay. The hint is there are two sisters. Anna and Elsa. All right, Anna there Elsa. you are, Anna and Elsa. These are your family goals. Brilliant! All of you have done fantastic. You have reached your goal. You've done amazing work. All of you now. Thank you so much for being part of the six sessions. You know, I didn't remember six sessions happen. Alhamdulillah, I had COVID. I am better now, so I I see a lot of things happen in the last six sessions. There is one and a half month I've been seeing you. I hope you enjoyed. I want four or five of you to tell me what is that one thing you learned from goal setting session. Come on, everybody. Ali, good to see you. Ali, go ahead. Why don't you share? You haven't spoken so much. Alman, Jazakallah for hard work. I like that answer. I like love the love the hearts and the smileys and the good ones. Okay, anyone else? Sire talk. Oh, Sire talk. The talk. Or right, I hope to see you with more sessions. I enjoy my sessions with you. I'm sorry, I've been a little down for the last few weeks. Sir, did he ask me something? Ali, I asked you what is the one thing you enjoyed in the session. Sir, the quiz I enjoyed a lot because yeah. I learned from the other people uh, a lot. Wow, that's nice, Ali. Where are you based in Ali? Uh, sir, I just stay in Oman, Muscat. All right, this is interesting. I think one of the most beautiful cities in the world is is Muscat. So yes, sir. Thank and you. And I think sir. Salala is wonderful. Great, Ali. You live in a lovely place. All, all of you. Here is your certificate. I wanted to share with you before we leave. I'm going to WhatsApp your certificate, and if you don't get the WhatsApp, they, I'm putting my phone number, WhatsApp number in the chat. Please make sure that you drop a message to me and remind me. Doubt, sir. I need my certificate. Most of you will get your certificate. I have your parents' numbers, right? Jazakal, everybody. All the best for your goal setting. All the best. Oh, sorry, I sent it to Halid privately. I'll send it to everybody. Hold on. Uh, everybody, remember these goal setting sessions are for you to become better, to become smarter, to become something you achieve in the goals. And if you do that, I'll be the happiest person there. Right now, I'll quickly share your certificates with you so that you all know that you are getting a certificate. Stop. Reach, reach number is this. Sorry, uh, Sauda. What number is this? Yeah, all right. So these some of you may not be there. So congratulations, Noem, for your completing of the course. Everybody, you can give a thumbs up to each one of you. I'll keep going to each one. Adib, who's not here, congratulations to him. Wajahat, wonderful work. You and your brother Wakar, you've been brilliant, both of you. I hope you all, you know, come and I can meet you again in physical. Uh, in physical. Uh, Amna, who was there, very silent but always there. Mahi, very active. She is there today. I saw uh, good work. Alhamdulillah. Halid. One of my favorites from Chennai. I saw your answer. Sauda, quiet. I'm sure Sauda, you're learning a lot, and I saw some of the answers. C congratulations, Rayyan was not there, but I think it's good. Zed, Arif, and they Zed shake both the Zeds. Congratulations, Arman. Another of my favorites whose answers I'm enjoying now, especially the one you gave on publishing. Arman, I will not forget that in a hurry. Congratulations to you and your parents who are amazing people, right? So is Muhammad. Wonderful work. Afreen, Ajwad. Hanin, Huda, Rida, both the sisters, Nabiha, very active. Another girl, Muhammad Sheikh, the first one who answered today. Fantastic. Fawaz, I didn't see Fawaz today, but he's been very active. So is Muhammad Ammar and Zed. Ishil, yes, Ishil, and your brother Mashud, one of the people who always been part of it. And finally, Ibrahim, who I didn't see today. Safia, congratulations, good answers today. So did you, did Juaria, brilliant answers. Some of very smart answers that you gave. Cold was answered. I was looking forward. The two of your friends, Farhana and Abdullah, were not there. All of you, congratulations, and your certificates reach you. All the best. Assalamualaikum. Right? Did I miss anybody's name? Sir, we will. 
have more classes. Uh, this is the last class for goal setting. Inshallah, I'll start a new course and I'll inform each one of you. Maybe in the All right. Yes, Sauda, please tell me. In the chat box, in what number, what yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a WhatsApp number. All right. Okay. Oh, sorry, Mahi. I'm so sorry, Mahi. All right. Yes, uh, you are the real Mahi. No, uh, so. I stay in Mumbai. Right. Uh, and I will, all of you will get your uh, certificates and the links of the, of the workshop. If you missed out, you can go and click on the link and the entire five workshops will be ready there. All the best, everybody. Jazakallah. All the best. Asalaamu As Alaikum.